Hey everybody, I'm Clint Simone with MotorOne.com and I'm here with the 2020 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Widebody. Right away, let's get out of that nasty wind noise, sorry about that, and into the details of the Charger Hellcat Widebody. Though its name is now quite the mouthful, the Charger Hellcat really has aged like a fine wine. For the 2020 model year, the wide body is the only available trim, so if you're not into those added flares, mm, tough luck. But let's be honest, if you liked the Hellcat's looks before, there's no reason why you should hate this one. It's more aggressive and all around, it just looks better. This particular car features some insanely bright Tor red paint, a satin black hood paint finish, and a few interior tweaks which we'll go over in a bit. But the important stuff with the Hellcat still remains. It's a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 with 707 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. Dodge says that means 0 to 60 happens in 3.6 seconds, but that's basically if you can get it to launch without the tires slipping. Speaking of, there are super wide 305 section Pirelli tires at all four corners. And now, inside we go. And, uh really quickly hop in here and talk a little bit about the interior of the 2020 Charger Hellcat wide body and then uh, kind of what you get with the whole car. So this car now starts just under $70,000, $69,500 or so. And the car we're in right now is just about $78,000. I think it's seventy-eight-three. Um, and a lot of that extra money is here in the interior. This one features a uh, suede and carbon fiber package. So you get the suede headliner that, you know, looks nice and kind of works with the leather package inside. There's also these suede inserts in the big seats, which we'll talk about in a second and then swayed along the uh, the steering wheel as well. Carbon fiber here in place of some of the other sort of metallic looking trim that you get standard um, down here as well. And then, well, that's actually it. I thought there was a little bit in the doors, but that is not the case. The Hellcat wide body is basically a fully loaded Darge charger anyway, you know, before you even get into the performance, the engine and all that kind of stuff. So that means you are getting heated and ventilated seats standard. You're getting this 8.4 inch Uconnect system with ha which has all sorts of SRT specific performance things. So it's a nice car. It's a nice interior. Of course, as being a charger in this car, you know, getting on an age now, you are still going to have um, some cheaper materials uh, and then certainly some switch gear that you recognize from other Fiat Chrysler products but overall it's definitely passable does it feel expensive at seventy-eight thousand dollars? no no it does not at all but you were never buying this car for the interior quality and that still hasn't changed with the 2020 model for sure you're buying it basically because of this With that in the interior, let's move on to some of my favorite things. The SRT mode in particular. Um, driving this car around today, it's, it's fun to figure out how you can configure it for the street. Spoiler alert, you're not going to want to mess with traction control too much. Uh, so far, I've found that this is my specific favorite page because every toggle individual, you can set up the car exactly the way you want. So we have the option to go between the full 707 horsepower or 500 horsepower in the eco mode you can set up the transmission with three different parameters for street sport and track uh, you can activate the paddle shifters to be on or off uh, but that said anytime you switch this over into the manual mode you can get the paddle shifters on the steering wheel to work regardless the traction control system street sport or track when you put the car oops, uh, when you do put the car into the sport mode the traction loosens up a little bit in sport and immediately it, it breaks traction the car if you're putting any sort of power into it off the line the tires go almost instantly now the traction control does a very good job of reeling the car back in so it's not unsafe but i do want to keep stressing that i would not mess with the traction settings too much if you're on a street of course if you're on a track that's a different story um and then these two last ones to me are the most interesting the suspension and the steering setup if you mess with the steering and put it into sport or track it really firms up the faster you're driving um, the steering really does change quite a bit from that street mode to that track mode setting there's a lot more weight to it 
uh, in those higher settings. And the same goes for the suspension. I have to say that I think Dodge tuned this car perfectly. It is actually quite comfortable. Um, any vibration or feedback that you're getting is mostly due to the fact that the tires are so big. But the tuning of the car itself and the suspension is really nice. It's, it's actually very comfortable. Um, and putting the car in the track takes away some of that. But overall, you can switch between these two modes in suspension and steering without any issue. Thank you for joining us for this quick tour of the 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat Widebody.